hear a show like this anywhere else. And that's probably for the best. The worst of the riot. Radio U. So, Nikki, I was telling you that Hudson has changed his look. So, I leave the show, but not Radio U. I'm always still here. I just work behind the scenes now. And so, suddenly, did Hudson get his hair cut? He got his hair. He chopped off all of his hair. So, I thought he was slicking it back, but it's all gone. No, he even, there was one show where he pulled his hat off. Oh, that's right. He was so excited about his haircut that he showed everyone his hair, which he has good hair. I don't know why he always wears a hat. Uh, but he has, like, good slicked back hair, and it's long, but it's, like, not, like, down to the shoulders like it was. He looked very put together. He asked me, like, just before he was getting a cut, he was like, so do you think I should, like, get a fade like you do? And I was like, stay away from me. You're not getting a fade. He's trying to copy your he style. He was nervous, and he, he said, he's like, I don't know. I feel like it'll look goofy on me. I was like, well, well if you wear denim on denim, it is going to look goofy on you. He doesn't wear denim, but he wears always jeans and bright colored shoes, which I love yes. Hudson shoes. And then he normally wears like a flannel, mm-hmm. a T-shirt with some print on it, yep. or a jersey. Yes. And like he's still wearing the same clothes though, right? No, he's changed. He's now wearing, you're never going to believe this. What? He now wears collared shirts all the time. No. He wears collared shirts straight up to the show, which... I like it. I think he looks real put together. He's looking crisp and clean, but it makes him look like a big, like, fifth grader (laughs) is the best way I can describe it. Like when your mom buys you new clothes for the start of school and they're nicer. And then he always says, like, (laughs) whenever we'll we'll finish the show, because I don't, I don't, I try not to comment on anything that he's wearing because I never know what he's doing. You don't want to give him a a complex. I can't be sure if he's, like, excited about his outfit or if he just threw it together or what, because I'm always confused by what he, what he chooses. But we go to the to the break room after the show. He's like, "Yeah, so this is my my new college shirt. <laughs> it's like it's like orange and yellow, and it like fades but like a sunset. His, it's just his flannel, right? It's just he buttons it, or no? It's a straight up collared shirt. Like wow. it's, it has like two buttons on it. It's like a straight up collared shirt. I gotta go back and see what he's doing. You need to look at some of the the worst of the ride video podcasts. I do so. meetings with Hudson during the week, but normally on those days, I, I'll usually try to comment like, "Oh, what hat has he chosen?" Yes, I want to compliment his hat. You're getting like neck up, but I'm not seeing enough of the neck down. You need to see it. You need to get to the neck where he's got the uh, got the collared shirt on. He's a different guy. It is. I mean, he looks like yet again before he was like kind of like. He's looking kind of rugged. He's always wearing the denim and the flannels, oh, no. country. He's always wearing Green Bay. Yeah, he's always That's wearing it. Packers. Yep. He's always wearing his Packers jerseys. Now he's a whole new man. Mm. He shaved down all of his facial hair too, no. and so he's like has it, he still has it, but it's like real crisp and short. Well, someone told him to. Did anybody text him? Be like, why don't you grow up? Clean up like, your act. Clean up your act. Clean, clean up your put it, Pull it together. <laughs> it, I think it was all probably Angela's idea if I, well, had, if I it, had to guess. It looks nice. I did notice the hair. I was like, wow, he took his hat off for I love show. the hair. It looks great. I like when he's got his hair short, but he always <laughs> he likes it long. So I well, don't know. Well, let's all send positive comments to 8772 Radio U, and then that way he'll come back to lots of good, like, boy, Hudson, you're really looking good. You're looking sharp, Hudson. Very nice. Add a little riot to your Instagram feed. Follow at Radio you official the ride. So for Nikki, yeah. Later this day, mm-hmm. you're gonna be getting on a plane. I am. I gotta fly home today because Hudson returns on Monday. I just came in this week to fill in. Well, if you were flying out to Japan or well, in that, Japan, I got on the wrong flight. Then you would but I be going mind. the wrong way. But <laughs> there's a new Japan airline that's doing something a little bit different. Essentially, they're trying to cut back on some CO2 emissions. Yeah, trying to be like earthly friendly, right? And the way they're doing that. Is no luggage. For, okay, wait. In the plane, like in your carry on, or like like in the bottom of the plane? Like in the bottom of the plane. Like you're allowed to wear clothes, yes. Okay. But you are not allowed to bring a bag on that plane. Well, I mean, I'm all for what we can do, but this might be too drastic. It seems a little bit extensive. So essentially, what they're doing is they're letting you like travel super light. Like all you have to do is like pack underwear and a toothbrush. Yeah. And then all your other clothes, you're just renting them. Really? From the airline. When They're you renting, get there? Yep, all rent, they out, they rent out outfits by season, size, formality, and color scheme. Yeah, Seems I, kind of odd. What's the pricing structure on that? See, and that's then what I'm you thinking. like your clothes. So maybe if you were like really into business wear and you were just flying somewhere for a meeting and you had a couple of days in Japan. Yep. So this is maybe more like, not because I'm flying into Japan, but I if I lived there and you were just going from place to place. Yeah, so it says here 
under the current pricing structure, a woman traveling on a business trip in the middle of the summer could pay $35, and she gets a selection of five tops Mm -hmm. and three bottoms Mm -hmm. that include linen shirts, trousers, and ankle-length skirts. Oh, oh, we have to do that? That's what they do. I mean, this is Japan. This is Japan. I don't know. I'm not wearing that long of a skirt. Ankle-length. I mean, I still see the ankle, you know. It's scandalous. It's so very scandalous. And so $35, though. Five tops, three bottoms. Yeah, but if you're going for like a week, what about your underwear? What I mean, about your they shoes? They said you got to bring it, it's BYOU. You got to bring your own underwear. underwear, and so you can have like that in your like a carry on. I guess bag. In, like in your purse, you just it's all your purse is is underwear and toothbrush and toothpaste. I guess. I and think deodorant. I'm just, I think I'm too embarrassed. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. Like and it says like. Uh, if you're doing like stuff in the winter, it could be more expensive because like you're doing like jackets and yeah. more more clothes and whatnot. I think overall, it said they did like a 13th month experiment with it. They said people loved it. Great. That's not us. That doesn't sound That's like us at all. Us. Like, I feel like, too, it's like when you, when you like pee your pants at school and you have to go to the office. And they have the extra clothes. And they have the those, lost and found. They have those clothes, like that gray pair of sweatpants that's did like you pee dirty. Your pants in I did it at least once. And uh, <laughs> you have that, like, that dirty pair, like gray sweatpants that's been in the office. You've seen everybody yep. wear them. Yep. And you know, like, when you walk out of there, everybody knows, like, Johnny pissed himself. Like you, that's what happened. You peed yourself or you threw up on yourself. Yeah, exactly. And like you're that kid for the rest of the day. Aww. And that doesn't go away for a while. Well, so this is an airline in Japan. Don't panic. It's not like one of our airlines that are doing it. I think it'd be more practical if they just allowed a one bag at all rule. Yeah, one bag maximum. And so, because sometimes when I travel, I'm like, well, just in case, you know, yeah, like, here's another. a shirt here, here's another in case an emergency happens. But if they want to, then you can fly on that airline. Yeah, I think for me personally, I would get there, and I don't think the outfits would, would look work. good on me. No. And if they then I'm then I'm on vacation. I'm wearing all this with these weird clothing items. It just doesn't feel right. You look at my Instagram, and you're like, why is Nikki suddenly wearing ankle length skirts? She's, is that like a vacation thing that she pulls that out? <laughs> like it's like when guys like they'll wear like the Hawaiian shirt on yeah. vacation. You're wearing like the ankle length skirts. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't seem as good. That part really bothers me. Yeah. <laughs> We're not sure who. Who behaves worse? The riot or their dogs? I don't even know how to behave like a real human being. The riot. Radio you. Where whatever your New Year resolution was. Oh, long gone. We've all forgotten. Oh, no. And even you're done with like your summer goal. Yeah. Like everybody. Yeah. You set goals in the summer, the new year. And if you if you still stuck on to your New Year resolution until this point of the year, I mean, talk about the success of all successes. Congratulations. Like, you're the person who goes to the party, and if you're still talking about that, I think people have gotten tired of hearing however much you've, like, stopped drinking pop or whatever it is. Like, that's long gone now. But at that point, you're way past what they say. It's like 30 days to break or make a habit. Yeah, you've totally killed the addiction. So it's no longer a resolution. Like, that's your lifestyle. It's Congratulations, your but we don't need to hear it. Yeah, exactly. And so now we've moved on to... Mid-year resolutions. Is that a thing? It's a new thing. I think it's for all the people that, like, continually fail. And so we failed our New Year's. And then, like, the beginning of summer, maybe you set a goal or something. And now that we're, like, into mid-July, that one's gone, too. But this is... Now, mid-year resolutions. It's not a bad idea because if you wait till like October, November, December, it's hard at the end of the year to do anything because there's Mm -hmm. just so many holidays. And then you're back to your January resolution and then you're mad at yourself. So this could be one last try to do some healthier or unrealistic habits. (laughs) Yeah. And they say like this one, which I actually agree with this a lot. They say this one this is the best time. Yeah. Like the new, everyone does like the New Year resolutions, but this is even better time because apparently people feel more energized and more motivated when it's sunny out. That is, oh yeah, you don't have I think the that January makes sense. blues. Yeah, like in January, like I could see like you putting your head down and really like fighting through adversity and just like you're inside anyway. So whatever you're doing, like you just try to like power through because it's a crappy time of the year. But in the middle of July. Like this is like a hot time. Yeah. Like maybe maybe you get off work and the sun's still up and you're ready to go to the gym or whatever it is that you're doing. But they say this is one of the best times to set some new ones and so some new goals that people set during the summertime. Drinking more water, losing weight, being better with money, um, which makes sense. I think this is a good time for for a lot of those things. I feel like better with money. This is kind of a hard time to do that because. In the summertime is when it's I feel fun. like, yeah, like there's yeah. a lot more stuff to do. Like in the wintertime, you can save money because you're not doing anything. Like nobody wants to go anywhere. Yeah. In the summertime, like you get off work and friends are like, 
go into the pool or people are going on vacation. So I could see yeah, that one di- being tougher. Dieting doesn't work because if you're spending money, that means you're eating food. You're eating food. You're yeah. eating more than you probably should. Like people are going to patios and you're doing fun stuff, which usually going on vacation, no one's dieting on vacation. It's a fun idea. So what was the term? A mid resolution? Mid year resolution. Mid year resolution. I like it. So maybe if, if you want to do something to your house or maybe if you want some some new projects, I feel like this could be a good time for that considering like it's just nicer outside. Maybe more more outside goals is what I'm thinking for this. So try again. If January didn't work or if you uh, you know fell off whatever that resolution wagon was, mm-hmm. just try it again. Just do it now. Yeah, exactly. This is the time of the year. And then guess what? If it doesn't work out, that'll be just like our past seven resolutions. So <laughs> it won't feel that bad. We're getting to the point now where we've all accepted that we're probably going to fail. But maybe this is a good time to mix it up. Not, not a wrong reason to not try again. The only thing Isaiah loves more than the riot is himself. Someone who probably still lives with his mother and hates himself. You're listening to The Riot on Radio U. We're talking about brushing teeth. <laughs> people in the text Maybe aren't happy. Maybe you're too much about it. They're not happy with my routine. That's okay. Some people say that they're, I'm, they're right on par with me. Many people don't. Uh, but I do have a study here that says if you are brushing your teeth, that not only is good for your mouth, but also lowers the risk of possible memory loss. Memory loss? It says the study found that gum disease and tooth loss are linked to brain shrinkage hmm. in the hippocampus. Really? Oh, you sound so official. You with familiar that. with that? The I'm hippocampus? sorry, Dr. Isaiah. Yeah. <laughs> and the hippocampus. Big contributor to Alzheimer's. Oh, really? So if you're not brushing your teeth, your brain might shrink is what I'm getting here. Maybe you would say, because it's a memory, you know, it's a memory that you're doing and you have to remember. Mm. So you're actually working that part of your brain by brushing your teeth the three times a day or the flossing. Makes sense. And so that conditions that section of your brain and it's like a workout for it. Well, they say like as you get older, you're supposed to like keep working your brain, right? That's what you're supposed to do. So it makes sense that all your little routines, if you can keep your little routines going, Mm -hmm. that could be enough to just keep your brain thinking just a little bit every day. I've always heard too, like if you don't brush your teeth, that like your teeth are a sign of your whole body. Yeah. So if your teeth are not doing well, that means there's probably something going wrong. Like going awry. awry. Yeah, like something is wrong and you just have to figure out what it is. Yeah, I feel like too, I've heard that your teeth are like, obviously they're talking about how your brain shrinkage. Also, like I know, for at least for, for animals, they say like gut health and things like yeah, that. Yeah, your, your tummy. Your tummy. Mm-hmm. It's, it's, it's really important for you to brush your teeth. But yet again, this is another one of those times where I'm like, this is the dentist. Is this what the dentist is telling me? Look at the bottom of the story and tell me. It's usually like this is brought to you by a study by the American Dental Association. Let's see. <laughs> this is no. This is legit. This is the American Academy of Neurology. Oh. So these are the brain people telling you to brush your teeth in partnership with. In partnership with <laughs> the American Association <laughs> of, <laughs> of Dental of no. your teeth. Like it's not wrong to brush. It's just. You know, you have to remember to do it, so. Yeah, there's like, I don't have nothing against brushing. I mean, it's a little annoying to have to brush. Mm-hmm. Also, like, when, how about this? Do you have a routine as you're brushing your teeth? Do you brush them the same way every time? Uh, or do I, no, I mean, you just brush and just get it over with. See, I always finish mine with the double gag. <laughs> on the, on the. Because you're brush. brushing your, like, your tongue. You gotta eat your tongue, <laughs> and I know that I've hit, I have, I have a bad gag reflex. I know that I'll hit. The spot on my tongue, like the farthest I can go yeah. when I get that little like, Ugh, and then that's when I know it's time for me to be done. Usually about 20 seconds after I've started. <laughs> you know, <laughs> we don't have to share everything. I just want to get people to know, you know, if you're brushing your teeth, I mean, you may be doing the same way as me. I'm trying mm-hmm. to relate to the listeners. Yeah. As you guys do your morning routine, are you making it 30 seconds <laughs> on your brushing of teeth? I know they say two minutes. If you can get through 20, I think you're good. Yep. All right. That's well, thanks, thanks for sharing all of this. Of course, guys. Of course. <laughs> Disinformation. Mispronunciations. Bad impressions. That's Hudson. This is The Riot on Radio U. It's time for the weekend watch list. Everything in streaming and movies for this weekend. So as you get ready to take on whatever you're doing, if you guys want to catch a movie, these are the things that are going to be released yeah what you want to watch usually a smaller list and what uh you don't want to watch <laughs> is usually a larger list and the headliner of the weekend little mission impossible so it's out next wednesday 
but it is out in theaters for selective showings Monday and Tuesday. So it's technically not this weekend. So and it's what, not next weekend. It's in between. It's like, so is it like going to be so Monday? Like, I saw the theater near Wednesday? me. Monday has like a 10 p.m. showing or something. And then Tuesday has a few. And then Wednesday, it's all out. So technically, it. its release date is next Wednesday. Which is a weird time. Like, movies don't release on Wednesdays, do they? Sometimes, yeah. Especially with like a holiday. Okay, for a holiday. I'm with it. I'm with it. Also. So I feel so, like a lot of people might wait on seeing stuff because you're going next week to see Mission Impossible. So Mission Impossible. You a fan? I love those. You like the movies? I do. And I don't like Tom Cruise. I think he's... It's a hot take. It is what it is. And we all know what that is. But I really like him in Mission Impossible. And I love Simon Pegg. He's one of my favorites. And he's in it. Okay, I'm with it. So will this be... You're not seen in theaters, though. Uh, I would like to. So maybe... Mm -hmm, I bet you would. Maybe next week is busy, but maybe... Yeah, maybe one day. (laughs) Maybe one day I'll see it. Everybody says, like, it's a really... They're giving it good reviews, but they are saying it's a little bit not quite as good as the last one. So how many Mission Impossibles are we at now? This is like... Five or six, isn't it? I think it might even be more than that. And this is part one. And so then the next one, the law... This isn't like a... A finalization. This will this will have a continuing one. I'm counting seven. Seven. Oh, this is the seventh, and then the next one is supposed to come out next year. Sure. The Dead Reckoning Part Two comes out, and so I don't know. I'll be honest. I don't know if I've seen a full one of these. You have. You haven't seen the Henry Cavill one. I don't think I've seen any of these movies. <gasps> and the Mission Impossibles. You need to. I don't think I've seen them yet. If you go back to like the first or second, uh, they're. I mean, they're, they're okay. old, so like they're probably just not as stellar. But the other ones are great. So also this weekend, if you didn't know, for those horror movie fans, a big one, Insidious. Oh, I keep seeing stuff for that. The Red Door. <laughs> no, thank you. You know, fun fact about Insidious. This comes out. Uh, what is this? What's today? So it's him. That's tonight. Yeah. This is when Insidious comes out. PG thirteen. Mm-hmm. Uh, my first scary movie ever. Was one of those. Was one of the Insidiouses. And I'm not a scary movie guy. This is not my thing. I was in fifth grade at a birthday party. I don't know why at birthday parties when you're a little. They're always trying to show scary movies. Was it a sleepover? It was a sleepover. Oh, that's why. And it was too much for me. I watched, I think I watched the movie. I watched some of the movie. Did what happen? Did you call your mom? No, I did. I stayed. Oh, okay. Did I stay? I don't remember if I stayed. Now that I think about it, I'm like, did I stay that weekend or not? I remember the first one when they watched, it was some old horror movie, and I remember I called my mom. I was like, you're like, it's over. I was like, you have to come pick me up. Yeah, so that also, for the horror movie fans, Insidious, a long time running one. One there um but other than that is that it's pretty light because again the mission impossible stuff they're i think they assume and maybe they didn't want to have competition with indiana jones but since that one has done so poorly it might just be a lighter weekend yeah it's not uh nothing else is making its way to nothing the movie good? theater so mission impossible or insidious <laughs> whatever you want but that, uh, i think it speaks for itself i'm sure there's something good on streaming that i can watch <laughs> for the 17th time I, I am curious to see if mission impossible next week will do as well as the whole like last summer of top gun oh yeah will this With be tom another cruise. tom cruise can summer? he carry his way into another another hit this summer not sure add a little riot to your instagram feed follow at Radio U Official, The Riot. Radio U. Nikki, after I get off work today, mm-hmm. I'm heading out. Where are you going? I'm going to a bachelor party this weekend. You gotta, it feels like all your friends are getting married. I know, it's kind of weird. <laughs> I feel like I couldn't be farther away from that, but every for time, them. Every time I hear of Isaiah's thing, it's like, what are you doing? You're not going on vacation, you're going on a bachelor party. Yeah, and so I keep on going to locations that I'm not choosing, yeah. um, which is a form of going on vacation, I guess. But this weekend... I'm driving this time, so it's not like like last time I went on a bachelor party, I was going to Scottsdale, Arizona, so I had to fly out there. This time, I'm staying like pretty local. It's only a three-hour drive, mm-hmm. so not terribly far, but the thing is, is I want to leave. I get off work early because yeah. I wake up early, right? And so I want to leave as soon as I like get off work because yeah. it's a three-hour drive. My younger brother also invited. Yeah. My father also invited. Oh, now you know it's a really... So now it's a crazy bachelor (laughs) party. Dads are going to be there. Um, (laughs) And so my father's also invited. Me and my dad can leave like once the show's over. Oh, you have to wait on your brother. You got to wait on my brother. Why can't he just leave work early? Listen, he... I don't know what's wrong with him. 
So coming into this week, he was too nervous to ask for today off. But I thought your oh, it's your roommate who takes a lot. Yeah, he's okay. the one who takes a lot of vacation. My brother, he was too nervous. Yeah, because he said he said I just went on a bachelor party for my older brother. It does sound like you guys are lying. It does. That's what he said. He said I don't want my boss to think I'm just like I'm constantly skipping out on these bachelor parties. And so he didn't take the day off. Yeah. But the thing is, he works remote. And so I'm like, well, you can just you can just leave, man. <laughs> Like, well, does his work watch him? Yeah, like, and they don't. He's on his laptop or whatever. Well, why doesn't he stay on his laptop in the car? That's what I said. Yeah. I said, just bring, I said, you can bring, like, a hot spot. Yeah. And I'm like, we're driving anyway. If you really wanted to, you could work in the car. Like, well, I don't care. Why don't you guys leave early today, That's then? what I said. I said we should leave at 2 o'clock was the time that I wanted to go. So I would go home, get all my things together, drive out, pick them up, be good to go. And he says, he gets off at 5. And he says... Well, I can't leave till three, man. No. I go three. He goes, Well, that's two hours. I'm like, What about two? He goes, That's too much. Three hours is too much. Oh, I'm like, Your brother must be pretty honest. He's a goody goody yeah. for sure. Where, like, I would have been like, Let's get the heck out of here. There's no chance. He's like, No. We don't hear that. I can't go till three. <laughs> I can't go till three. And I'm like, Jaden, are you kidding me? And the reason I want to leave it too is a three hour drive. Yeah. I want to be there before, before like, traffic. Before traffic. And he's not even worried about it at all. Just tell him you just tether in the car and just do a hot spot from your phone and just let him work for the three hours. What I, my plan is is I'm going to show up at the house at 2. And go. And I'm going to say, we're leaving. Like, I'm, you're not going to get work done anyway. Yeah. Because I'm going to be in here being like, hey, TikTok, let's get it rolling here. Let's get on the road. Well, what's your dad's thoughts? My dad's I, ready to roll. Okay, so your dad I thought would be more practical, but he's you're like saying in the he's middle. Go. He's also like, he would be fine waiting until 3. But if Jaden's okay with it, and I'm putting the, I mean, I've got the hammer on. You're ready. I'm putting the pressure on. So if my dad's good to go, Jaden, he's going to end up trying to. Jaden, I it. applaud your honesty because with remote work, that is hard. He's a, he's a good remote worker. That is good. But you can just work from the car and that does count. And then that's honest. Yeah. He acts like he's doing anything anyway. I don't know. <laughs> he's just keeping himself active hey, on there. if you're trying to get him to agree with you, to come down on him is not the best yeah, approach. Yeah, you're right. Jaden, you're doing lots of work, buddy. Yeah. I know and you are. I know your workplace really values you. <laughs> yeah, for and sure. And they'll value you in the car. Exactly. <laughs> We're not sure who behaves worse the riot or their dogs i don't even know how to behave like a real human being the riot radio you and we were just talking about how i'm prepping for a road trip just a little three hour one nothing crazy and a new study came out that i think i'm gonna participate in yeah on this road trip it says cheat days cheat days when you go on vacation i mean they're unlimited well, yeah, I mean, that is a vacation. Yeah, I mean, right away, like, road trips, they count as cheat days, according to this new survey. So even when you're on your way to your vacation, as soon as you get in the car... It starts. You can get whatever you want. Well, yeah, you need car snack food. And, like, you're eat, like there's no way, if you're driving somewhere, that you're not stopping it for fast food. So I guess the survey needs to disclose, then, what counts as... Because what if your commute is, like, 30 minutes? <laughs> That, so, I mean, that counts. I mean, is that counting? Like, how long does a drive have to be? Or is it purely about where your destination is and what you're doing at the destination? Ooh, that could be it, too. Yeah. Because if you're on your way to work, then that doesn't count. But some people have long commutes. I know, but that doesn't count, though. I knew a guy who commuted an hour and a half there and an hour and a half back every day. It sounds like a terrible work decision. I told him that, <laughs> but that was just what he did. Yeah, because I feel like, I mean, I drive a half an hour to get here. Yeah. And But when I'm on the way in... In, I can't be. I, when I'm on the way in, it's too early anyway. But when I'm on the way back home, I can't be stopping and getting snacks. Yes, you could. I could. You could be. But it feels so wrong. Imagine, like, I'm always embarrassed if you see the credit card and you're like, what's with the gas station? Yeah. Why, why, <laughs> what's why that? are you, like, spending $3 at the gas station? Every like, day. This is a weird charge. Well, people stop for coffee and uh, for snacks. So I don't think it's it's wrong. just depends on, you know, when you're when you're going. Yeah, I feel like, and they said, too, in the survey, the top mode of transportation for vacations People prefer riding in the car mm -hmm. rather than on a plane. Would yeah. you agree with that? Oh, absolutely. You think so? Planes are great because it's quicker, but it's yeah. so miserable. It is. And the lead-in time of, like, waiting at the airport. Because this week, I got, like, when I flew in on, on, and I'm leaving today, I'm flying back to Florida, I feel like I have to get there earlier because of the big mass, like, 
flights getting canceled. Yeah. I know they're not still doing that, but you're afraid, like, what if... The fear, the anxiety. Yeah, and if you're in your car, it's you. You can stop somewhere. Mm. You can stop at a hotel. You can rest. Like, you just get, get more food. freedom. You can, you can eat if you want to eat. Go at your own pace, whatever it is. Yeah, I feel like then once you're on the once you're on the plane, you're just so out of control. Like you have no control of the situation. Yeah. And so, but so I ended up being top mode of transportation, a car at thirty eight percent, as opposed to a train at thirty five, so, or a, a plane at at thirty five. Some people still rocking the train at eighteen. I've only done. I did a Grand Canyon train that was like a few hours, and then I did a train from Vancouver to Whistler. Uh, that was it. But I've See, never been like on a train cross country. I don't think I've ever. I mean, I've ridden a train before. You've but, done the Santa train, haven't but you? But not since maybe, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> but not since Santa? I could remember. <laughs> I haven't ridden a train at the age in which, yet again, I know the normal age. <laughs> I can think back to it happening, but I know that when I was a young child, I rode some trains. Well, if you have a long enough commute, this study shows that maybe you could just be getting your your hall pass your cheat day snacks anytime you drive yeah it says top top cheat snacks for your road trips it's going shifts at 47 percent cookies at 44 and then candy at 42 that's good so if any of those three then you're just fitting in with the norm just like everybody else the only thing isaiah loves more than the riot is himself someone who probably still lives with his mother and hates himself you're listening to the riot on radio U. When Hudson's in here versus when you're in here, sometimes I act differently. You do. When Hudson's in here, I'm, I'm just like free flaunt, you yeah, know. Yeah. I'm, I'm cleaning my ears with Q-tips, doing whatever. Nikki comes in here, I kind of clean up the act a little bit, right? <laughs> and so this whole morning, I've been contemplating. Actually, the past two mornings. Go clean your ears with the Q-tips. It's not, it's not that. I already told you like in the past week or so that I... I'm getting ready for a dentist appointment. Yeah. And I brought my flossers with me. You're the one. You dropped one yesterday. Did you? On the floor. No and I way. threw it away. Because I have two. Yes. Because I had, I've worn these, I, I constantly re-wear shorts and whatnot, right? Yeah. So I have these khaki shorts on that clearly I came in earlier this week and I had it in my pocket, but I was too nervous to pull it out during the show. Why? You can floss your teeth if I'm here. Because I feel like if I'm flossing across from you, that's such a gross thing to do. It is if you were flossing, but these are like the floss picks. The little picks, yeah, right? Yeah, those are fine. I'm not doing like the whole nine yards of like pulling out the string of floss. And, and it's and... not, I think toothpicks are gross. Oh, toothpicks? I don't like guys who just like chew on toothpicks. Chew on toothpick. Yeah, no. that's gross too. But the Cringy, flo- honestly. This seems more like, wow, he really cares about his teeth. Yeah, exactly. I have the little pick thing, so I, you know, Pick at my teeth, whatever. I wonder whose that was. It was that on was the mine. F- it was on the floor. Yeah, I threw it was, away. That was for you know, that was mine. But yeah, I've been contemplating it the whole morning because I was like, dang, this would for sure be one of those things that if somebody was like on TikTok, they would like take a video of their Secret coworker <laughs> who's like flossing their teeth at their cubicle. And so I wanted people to text in at eight seven seven two radio you. And so I'm like, do you have someone? Everybody who has someone in their workplace. That has like an ick or does something gross or brings like some terrible food to lunch. Yeah. Or is constantly like picking their nose, whatever it is. I want you guys to text those in because I think they're hilarious. Well, I can tell you what one person here used to do. What they do? They're not here anymore. And they were just kind of they like they were younger and they weren't aware that this might be gross. But they used to cut and trim their fingernails. No chance at work at, at their work desk. But the problem Ew. was is they were so messy and just so disorganized that a lot of times the fingernail clippings would be all over the floor That's under their so desk. Gross. And I remember when the person wasn't here anymore and everyone was like, okay, we'll just go. Someone else was going to take the desk. It was disgusting. Like so many clippings. Disgusting. Why were they doing that? Like, uh, why would you? I would never. Some, you ready? Yeah. Some were toes. Oh, no. Toenails. So he, it was shoes off. Two, yeah, they would just wear sandals. Was it and a they, man or a woman? It was a man. What do you think? I it's didn't, not well, a woman. Well, once you said toenails, no. then I thought like maybe she's wearing sandals is no, what I was saying. A guy was just wearing sandals, and so he would clip his toenails Ew. and guy his in fingernails. sandals anyway. A guy in sandals, that's at work. <laughs> that's too much for that's me. That's not. Uh, and then they're clipping the toenails. That's so, so gross. When... Like, you had to go through and, like, get the desk ready for the next person. It was like, you had to clean up their Who was doing that? Was that you? Nails. No, I didn't do it. I would yeah, delegate that. I'm You're like, not I'm doing not that. doing that. 
<laughs> you yeah. can't make me do that. So text in if you have a coworker that you want to complain about. We won't say your name, and we'll tell them. <laughs> we'll read all through these, and, and we'll get grossed and out. And go ahead and floss your teeth, Isaiah. It's I'll be fine. flossing up in here. I'm already pulling it out. <laughs> Find more Riot content online. Riot.radiou.com.